man, I, I think there's something missing. I'd, oh, hi. Uh, today we're going to teach you how to connect a SCSI scanner to your computer. Isn't that a TV show where they, like, solve crimes or something? What? How to connect a SCSI scanner to a computer? Well, it's quite complicated, actually. You've got to connect a, a SCSI interface card right into the motherboard. Now, look, it's not quite that easy, but it's not quite that complicated either. SCSI is an older way of connecting things to your computer. It usually came with a 50-pin cable or a 25-pin cable. There are others that are still around, but mostly SCSI has gone by the wayside. Now, before you can connect a SCSI scanner to your computer, well, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a SCSI scanner. You're going to need a computer that can accept a SCSI card, and you're going to need a SCSI interface card. Kind of looks like this. Now the first thing we've done is taken the cover off of the computer. The next thing we're going to do is look for a slot. This happens to be an ISA, an ISA slot, where the card can go. Then we'll need to remove the protector on the back. I've already taken the screw off. Now we're going to take the card, the SCSI card, and insert it down into the slot you'll notice that there's a smaller portion here and a larger portion here. It can only go one way, but remember, brain over brawn, they're easy to break. And we'll insert the card using even force on either side. It should just kind of pop down into place. And there you have it. Now in order to keep the card stationary, you're going to want to keep this screw that was holding the little plate in place. That'll keep the SCSI card from floating around. The installed SCSI adapter card should look something like this once you have it installed. This is our flatbed scanner. Of course, you'll always want a power cable to go with it. Don't plug it into the wall until the very last thing. On this particular scanner, we actually have the choice of 25 pin or 50 pin. We'll start with the 50 pin plug. It simply plugs right into this socket clicks into place, and then there's a couple of little catches that actually hold it in place. Then we'll take the other end, which in this case is 25 pins, and we'll plug it right into our SCSI card on the computer. Always good to screw the cables in so that they don't float around. Now the last few things that we want to check before we plug anything in and turn anything on, including the computer, we want to make sure that they're unlocked. You should see a little icon here that will show you when it's been unlocked. Usually there should be a little switch on the back of more modern scanners that allow you to turn the termination on or off. The last thing that you're going to need is to set the address. You'll actually see a small button here that allows you to change the address of this device. Now let's see what it looks like connecting it with the 25 pin socket. Once again we can plug this in very simply. It can only go one direction. We're going to plug it into the back of the scanner and we'll do the same to the SCSI card. Once again, we need to check for the address and the termination. And that, my friends, is how to connect a SCSI scanner to your computer. So please, if you really want to connect a SCSI scanner to your computer, hey, read the flipping manual!